The price of chicken eggs is soaring in grocery stores. I've heard people talk about eggs being nearly $10 a dozen, and that is insane. We're lucky enough to actually have our own flock of chickens and be able to reach out every morning and get our own delicious and free range eggs from our chickens. But I know that that's not always an option for where you live. There's a lot of different laws and regulations around whether you can raise chickens in your backyard, how many you can have, if you can only have hens, and there's a lot of things to actually get into and think about. But in the meantime, there's another alternative to the good old chicken egg, and that is actually quail eggs. And I'm standing in front of the quail that we raise today. We have around 30 quail that we raise. We raise Katernic quail, and they are a great source of getting eggs. They have a lot of the same nutrition and honestly quail eggs are even more packed with nutrition and I have a video all about the nutrition that I will link below so you can even learn more about that but they taste relatively similar. They're just honestly a smaller egg but as you think about whether quail would be a good option for you whether you live in an apartment and you want to raise them on your balcony or whether you're able to actually have your own homestead and have a larger amount of land it's important to think about how many eggs quails actually lay. And looking into it, and actually having quail for a couple of years now, we found that quails are gonna lay an average of around 300 eggs per year, which is insane. Now it definitely comes down to the type of quail that you have, there are a few different breeds that you can get, and some are gonna lay more eggs than others. For example, Katernic quail are gonna lay anywhere from one to two eggs per day, where something like a bob white quail is gonna take a lot longer to even start laying. Katernic quails start laying after just eight weeks, and bob whites can actually be up to a year before they start laying, and then they are only gonna lay at a seasonal time period. So really think about the breed that you're gonna get and bring into your homestead. Once you've actually decided on the breed, then you're gonna be able to understand how many eggs they lay and find out the right temperature, weather, and environment for your quail to help produce the most eggs that you can. I'm Danielle of the Sorrow Homestead, where we share our journey of creating a homestead so that you can learn to live a more self-sustainable lifestyle. We share one to two videos per week, and we're so happy to have you along for the journey. The main factors of quail laying success, again, are gonna be the breed, but also the type of food that you're giving your quail and the environment that you have them. Now, quail, similar to chickens, are gonna lay more eggs in the summer when there is longer days, but you can actually choose to mimic a longer day by just providing around 14 hours of light. So we have our quail outside, but if you did want to have them inside and just have a light on and keep them a bit warmer, then they are going to produce more eggs probably all year long if you do live in a colder climate. Now we do have a hardier quail here and we choose to let them live outside and kind of just take a break in the winter for laying. And and we found this to be really good. And then in the summer, they do still produce a really good amount for us. Age is also gonna play a large part in this. And quail are usually gonna lay their peak of eggs when they're anywhere from six to 12 months old. As they get older, their egg supply will decrease. So they will start to lay less and less eggs. But at the beginning, in that really good peak of egg laying, you can get anywhere from 50 to 60 eggs per month, which is insane. And when you are thinking about just your good old chicken egg in compared to a quail egg, usually in regards to nutrition and just calories, it's gonna be anywhere from three to four quail eggs is gonna equal around one chicken egg. So it's really great that they do have such a large amount of eggs that they lay. And cause they are smaller, they aren't really they don't make that much noise. They're pretty easy to keep. Um, you're gonna be able to keep more of them and be able to have a lot more for yourself to produce eggs. 
as you can see here. Some other factors in the amount of eggs that they lay is going to be the food that you give them. You're gonna to wanna to give them a highly nutritious and high protein food. You can usually give them a good game bird feed. We get our feed from Nature Serve, and it's a really great feed that's highly nutritious and does help them lay some really great quality eggs, as well as making sure that they are getting enough water because eggs are a large part in water. Quill are relatively easy to take care of as long as you're giving them a good nutritious diet, you're giving them water, and you're giving them a good environment. They usually are gonna thrive anywhere from around 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That's when they're gonna produce their most amount of eggs and in a really good 14 hour daylight. <laughs> but they're still gonna produce eggs in other temperatures and other amounts of light. You can just kind of supplement some of those environmental factors if you do want them to keep producing all winter long and for the most part you're going to get around 300 eggs per year which is a really great supply of eggs they don't take up that much space and for the most part there isn't too many regulations in towns or housing that prevent you from having them making them a great addition to any home or homestead